A hound howls at the midst of the night. Funny, really, how shadow tricks your sight. The tree limbs form in a silhouette of a cave. Continuous howls echo with no tone of brave. For the mongrel's eye may be tricked, merely barking at a frog jumping from creek bank to creek bank. Or a peculiar man merge from the shadows, a fleabag's heart would sank. The rustling leaves, the cackling trees, the ghastly breeze, and the prolonged howl of questionable threat. The countryside invites such a sluid type of eternal rest. Tempting, really, hiding among shrubbery, trees, and other types of forestry found in the woods. The howling, first heard far in the marsh, now approaching as fast as any dog could. The yelps and cries for help hurriedly scamper towards your somatic loft. Solitude abruptly interrupted, but you are dreaming, sleeping so soft. Approaching ever so rapidly, hallowing ever so rapidly, crying ever so dastardly. You hear the mutt enter your line of grounds, wondering why a whimpering hound would take refuge on this dominion you keep, why this cowardly mutt takes refuge to weep. You handle much thought, pondering on what it seems, when you just want to drift into a sea of dreams. You cast down your head, submerging back into your bed, the eyelids you read. Just as a haze of a dream slowly crept to your mind, you hear the sounds of bones crackling in no form of kind. Startled now, you open your eyes as wide as you can. Refusing to blink, they begin to dry out like sand. No matter what itch, your eyes remain open, for the noise the hound made heard prior had been broken no more whimpering no more shivering no more quivering instead a twig of a limb snaps with a footstep heard ever so distinctly with you bundled in your quilt the sound wasn't made so clearly yet you know what you hear and you must remain on guard Despite the fact, the shellacking of your heart beats so hard. The footsteps from your yard rustles in rhythmic notion. Whomever, whatever, taking pride in their entrenchment notion. You must find a torch, this guest you would scorch. Then, footsteps approach the porch. Who on God's green earth would intrude a property this time of night? Who, I say, who, without one expecting a fight? If not fight, then quarrel. God knows I need my sleep. For the time, it be lingering past three, and this visitor I have no intentions to keep. More likely, this must be some kind of teen, maybe child, performing some boisterous prank. A scalding lecture for them would be most frank. You rant in your head, finding courage to get out of bed, your eyes a fiery red. Before a knock on the door, before any request, you burst out of your bundle in your bed of rest. You stomp your way to the door, cursing while you implore, about still, who could this be in front of my door? The doorknob is now at your reach, preparing yourself for the raged rantings of Pryor's speech. The door now open, nobody there. Just whispered wind over here, nothing to cause any fear. You gather many of thought, standing in solitude. The long open field is the only thing in sight. You shrug the suspicions, wondering that maybe it was your imagination that gave you such a fright. 
you pivot and turn, thinking maybe you was merely in a bad dream. Softly, tiredly, and slowly, you walk, still an ominous thought of tonight's theme. Confused and cautiously, you enter your room, anticipating to go back to bed, where you find, outside the window, swinging like a pendulum, is the dog's severed head. Blood dripping, head swaying, spine knotting, sickly motioning, faintly falling, closet opening. <laughs>